Hey everyone, Tim here for Droid Life. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today, as you can see, we have the all-new Asus ROG or Rogue or Rogue G, however you want to pronounce it. It's, uh, it stands for Republic of Gamers, but it's the ROG Phone 2 from Asus. Uh, brand new device got announced last month, I do believe, and we finally got one in-house here with some pretty different packaging. You know, typically you might see this in just sort of like a regular box, you know, like a rectangle, rectangular, cubish thing, uh, but no. Uh, the Republic of Gamers decided to change it up a bit on us and, uh, and give us this sweet looking thing. Um, you've got some great branding here on the end, you've got like some type of metallic down here. Um, it's a very nice box, it reminds me of something like, you know, plutonium would come in. Uh, it's got that sweet slide. Uh, function going on out here um, just some you know specs uh, ID numbers etc etc uh, does list a couple of specs but I'll go over those here in a moment uh, let's just get right into the unboxing here I don't want to keep you waiting too long uh, so as we can see here we just slide it out ever so gently put that there I don't want anything to fall out on accident and because I don't want anything to fall out on accident I'll go ahead and I'm going to circle around here, take everything out that's breakable. Definitely take the phone out. Okay, okay, different. Phone down. And let's see, we've got uh, paperwork, I assume. Holy moly. Okay, much more than just paperwork. Let's go ahead, we're going to slide this back inside of that. Alright, complete. Go ahead and... See what all kind of goodies we got here. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so, okay, opening this up, I can tell you right off the bat, we've got a case. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm just going to pull everything out. That way you can see it. Oh, gee. I'm going to be making a mess. I just know it. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to bust into here. Oh, I'm strong. You know, there's probably an easier way. You always look back on these things and you're like, oh, wow, there was like a little little tab or something right there I could have just pulled. But no, um, when you're doing this, you just have to go head first, dive in. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so definitely a, a bumper case you would label this as. Not necessarily, um, doesn't provide the most protection, right, in the world. Uh, because, you know, like imagine paying $40 for this and you're like, oh, hope you got that half off. Uh, it's like getting ripped jeans. Uh, there's not a lot there. However, um, it's cool. It's got some designs going on here on the inside. Uh, Republic of Gamers, etc. ROG, ROG. Uh, it's got the logo there. Um, yeah. Alright, that's cool. Not trying to knock the case or anything. <laughs> uh, of course, we have a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, data cable. Um, this is your 30 watt uh, charging adapter. I think it's hefty. This is a brick. I think it's, that's heavy. Um, we also have, oh boy, okay, tons of Ziploc baggies. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't know what this is. Uh, it does come with a QR code of sorts, so that's nice. Oh, these might be trigger replacements? Um, this, uh, definitely not sure what that is. This, I think, might be a plug for maybe the USB-C port. And maybe another trigger? I don't know. We're just going to have to dive in. I don't know anything about this phone. But I'm very excited because uh, once we once I start going over the specs with you, uh, you're going to find that this thing is the god phone when it comes to specs. Now this, uh, this is the, uh, what are they calling this? The Aeroactive Cooler uh, for, so when you're, when you're gaming and the device is getting super hot, uh, of course, you can just throw this on, and it's like a little fan for your device. So, pretty genius. Uh, let's go ahead, though. All right. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's the device. Let's go over specs. We're going to pull this off. Let's power it up. All right. This thing feels premium. <laughs> it's heavy. Uh, I think I looked at the weight. I think it's half a pound. Uh, it is large and in charge. It's actually somewhat glorious though. I mean, this is aggressive design. Um, you've got your LED on the back side here, dual cameras. So let's go ahead, power it on, and then we'll go over the specs. All right, powered by Android, Republic of Gamers, DTSX, audio for your stereo speakers. Anyway, specs. 
6.6 inch full HD plus am oh geez 6.6 inch full HD plus AMOLED display 2340 by 1080 120 Hertz refresh rate so you know eat that Google eat that one plus everybody who's got the 90 Hertz panels 120 same as the Razer phone and uh, Razer phone 2 uh, that we saw from Razer uh, so 120 Hertz you're going to be noticing that uh, in gameplay scrolling through your system UI etc uh, Qual uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 plus processor 12 gigs of RAM 512 gigs of storage so plenty of storage plenty of RAM this thing the performance should be insane inside this body that weighs half a pound uh, is a 6,000 milliamp hour battery does support quick charge 4.0 so super fast charging you know for a huge battery capacity so you're gonna be playing games you're gonna be browsing Twitter doing whatever all day on this thing um, dual nano sim slots dual sim dual standby in display fingerprint reader uh, has the programmable ultrasonic quote air trigger touch sensors so I believe that's what those were for I think up here in the top right is where I think those those touch sensors are we can kind of see that here um, kind of embedded in the hardware itself on the right side here you've got your power button volume rocker uh, the, that touch sensitive panel up there maybe these are magnetic I'll just have to try that out here in a little bit nothing here on the top side except for a noise canceling mic on the left here um, oh so this I believe is a port of some kind I don't want to go digging around but I'm pretty sure that's a port um, you've got your sim tray right here on the bottom a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as USB-C uh, for all of your for your needs um, let's see is there anything else front stereo speakers like I said uh, it does have uh, inside internally it's got the the rogue or the rog game cool 3d vapor chamber cooling system to keep your device cool and then of course you've got this thing that you can strap on there which keeps it cool too okay so I understand so this and what those other things were for this comes out Watch me just totally break in. This not is what it's for. That would be so awesome. Um, you know, God forbid you cut your fingernails on the day you have to do. You have to mess with this thing. I don't even know. Either way, so that right there, <laughs> this gets inserted right there. It clips onto the backside, and then you have access for the USB-C and headphone jack down here. That way, when you're gaming, when you're gaming in landscape, um the ports are not covered up and so you can still access everything it's actually a pretty ingenious design um, so basically you've got a dual ported device um, where this can take the power and the volume or the audio as well um, as well as from down here so that's actually a pretty cool design software wise we have Android 9 Pi with the ROG UI from Asus built on top um, on the back side here, I want to talk about cameras real quick. You got a 48 megapixel plus a 13 megapixel rear facing camera uh, with LED flash, of course. And on the front side, it is a 24 megapixel camera right there. And of course, large stereo speakers. Um, on the outside, uh, exterior of the phone, I don't, don't know if there's too much else to show. Uh, but like I said, this thing feels heavy. Let's go ahead and um, let's pause the video here. And we're going to dive into the software and take a look at that ROG UI. And we are back with the ROG Phone 2 all set up, ready to go, ready to game. Uh, because, you know, after diving into this thing through the setup process, you can tell that this phone is definitely made for the gamers, of course. I mean, all the marketing, I mean, everything. This, this phone's made for gamers, let's just say that. Um, so I was able to dive into this little guy. And uh, during the process of the initial setup here, it's real quick, I want to show you. Um, oh, man, if I can just... I was able to get in there oh come on how embarrassing so I think it does help if you come from the the back side there's like a little all right so there is a little like grippy thing on there hard to show um, either way so you've got uh, basically what's two USB-C ports over here however during initial setup uh, you do not want to insert any type of power cable on the right side of it. You want to do that on the left side. You will see that warning uh, when you power on the device as well. Um, also, what's nice is during software setup is you can choose either a classic Android UI or the ROG UI, the Rogue UI, however you want to pronounce it. I, of course, opted for that ROG UI. 
uh, because I'm a hardcore gamer. Uh, and as you can see, the ROG UI is quite dark. Um, quite awesome, actually. Uh, we have some custom icons going on here for gallery, claw, contacts, etc. Um, but it's, uh, the home screen itself, the UI, um, is actually quite um, customizable. Uh, if you long press on that, you can go through wallpapers, all that, but edit home screen, you can get scroll effects, icon label colors, folder themes, icon alignment, you can mess with all that. Uh, you can even go deeper. You can go into the actual settings menu of the device, play with themes and wallpapers. Um, Preloaded themes right here, I got the dark reactor core, and then there's the light luminous core, and then of course just that classic Android UI. Looks like there's more, you can add wallpapers of course, some actually pretty solid, colorful, nice wallpapers. Um, you know, not bad at all. Um, so, as I mentioned, hardcore gaming device. What makes it a hardcore gaming device? Well, uh, it's got this thing called X mode. X mode right here in the system toggles. Now, if you toggle that, everything goes red. The UI changes up. You see that reactor core starts kind of pulsating. And instead of orange, everything's red now. Um, I mean, that's cool in and of itself. However, what is that doing? Um, if we dive into X mode, we kind of get into a game launcher application here and As you can see I thought I could hear the fans phone like starting to blare up um, As you can see it comes with asphalt 9 at least the US model comes with asphalt 9 preloaded, which is a, a racing game um, So you've, you've got your games lobby you can launch you can go into specific game profiles and then also kind of go over uh, the console of the device, so see CPU usage and temperature, CPU, temperature, usage, storage, memory, remaining time on the battery. Uh, you can mess with your air triggers from here. You can mess with the fan speed, the system lighting, because of course it's got that RGB LED on the backside. Definitely going to be showing that off in the subway. Um, so if we go back to the games lobby, under the X mode, we can set profiles. Uh, so under the game profiles, we can set individual settings for different aspects of the phone's performance. Uh, for example, we can mess with the touch sensitivities, the stabilities, block touch edges. We can go under display. We can up that refresh rate to 120 if we turn off as system. We want 120 hertz all the way. We want anti-aliasing. Uh, go under performance. Um, as system of course no thank you we're going to go X mode ultimate CPU clock it up uh, temperature control and eh, we'll just leave that as default we want power consumption to be at maximum we want the audio we want call exclusive mode now nah, we don't don't even care we can restrict background sync through the network uh, settings as well as prevent switching networks that's just going to help you kind of stay connected you know, if you're in a multiplayer lobby or something like that, you can just kind of mess with all those things. Um, do you want to... Yeah, that's fine. So, you know, a lot like the Razer Phone 2, except this is a bit more comprehensive in terms of the things that you can mess with. So, I like that. I like being able to manage what my CPU is going to be clocked at or my refresh rate is going to be clocked at. I think that's awesome. Um, you know, like say on the OnePlus 7 Pro or the Pixel, you know, you could say those are good for gaming, but... You only get two options, right? You can switch between the 60 hertz or the 90 hertz. This offers you so much more control. And I know gamers, you know, the, the Windows gamer, the, you know, the PC gamers, they absolutely love having that type of control. So I think that's a huge, uh, a huge bonus for getting this device, um, you know, if you're really into the mobile games. And of course, if you disable X mode, everything kind of cools down, the reactor closes back up, everything goes... It's not as intense and as like, oh my god, something's happening, uh, which is nice. Uh, back down here in the settings, there's a couple things I want to show you. Under Advanced, uh, so you've got your Game Genie, Twin Apps, etc., etc. Uh, under uh, Optiflex, uh, it accelerates app launches, reduces app reloads, and saves power on standby. Um, have not seen Optiflex. Maybe this is a Asus exclusive type of thing, but I'm definitely going to be trying that out. Love the idea that it, it accelerates app launches. Uh, definitely going to be checking that out. So here's your air triggers. Um, definitely up on this uh, top right side and top left side. 
um, so you can play certain games uh, with those air triggers enabled very cool and then of course you can tweak them and uh, however you need to be a short squeeze for Google Assistant long squeeze for X mode you can change your squeeze level kind of like you know what you can do on those pixel phones just kind of squeeze on the sides very cool uh, built-in screen recorders um, as well as being able to stream um, your devices what's happening on the device straight to YouTube from this software so you know a lot of things were made with gamers in mind and as we all know mobile gaming it's growing it's a real thing it's here to stay it's not going anywhere um, you know all you console bros are just gonna have to deal hate to say it um, either way I can't wait to dive into this phone uh, it's 899 if you can find it um, currently I think up for pre-order on B&H and Amazon um, Asus I think it's sold out on their website uh, but 899 for this is the spec beast of 2019 I, I don't think it's going to be getting any bigger than this thing um, it's pretty incredible at least from the five minutes that I've been playing with it just the performance kind of seems off the chain so I'm gonna download all my favorite games I'm gonna dive in I'll give you guys the full review if you guys have any questions comments concerns Feel free to leave them down in the description below. And until then, we are Droid Life. Peace.